Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to measure the left atrial diameter. Just remember that I'm doing these tutorials according to the BSC guidelines. The first thing you have to do is ensuring a good ECG tracing. And always remember to do a global qualitative and quantitative evaluation of the chamber size. This is the parasternal long axis view, and in this view we can measure the left atrium diameter. The left atrium diameter is measured in the end of systole, so the first thing you have to do is freeze the image in end of ventricular systole. We have here a frozen end of systole parasternal long axis view. That means we are ready to go, right? However, I know that this measurement can be difficult and tricky, and this is because of two reasons. First, the left atrium has like a million different shapes. And second, let's be honest, it's very rare that we get images this beautiful. So, with this nice picture, I'm going to show you how it's done. In the parasternal long axis view, we can visualize the aorta, the left ventricle, mitral valve, and the left atrium. So, the left atrium diameter is measured perpendicular to the left atrial walls from the posterior aortic wall to the posterior left atrial wall. Finally, when you're ready, remember to measure the diameter perpendicular. From inner edge to inner edge. All done! This is how to properly measure the left atrial diameter. So just remember that you have to freeze the image at end of ventricular systole and that you have to measure the diameter perpendicular from the posterior aortic wall to the posterior left atrial wall. I really hope you can find this video useful and just let me know in the comments if you would like another video about the left atrial volume. Bye!